Uh, I bet this is a very random video, but I just I I needed content, okay? And I also just found that there's not actually like an actual video explaining how to do this in depth. So I thought I might as well. So um yeah. Uh first if for some reason you wanna move your my anim uh your anime list like list into my anime list. Uh there's actually a way to do it, but it's actually just a lot more complicated than if you just export your my anime list and then put it into anime list instantly. So um, there's not like an actual video showing you the every the, the steps to actually do it. So uh, here is this, I guess. I hope it helps. But yeah, let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to this um, GitHub page. So. This is basically a software that allows you to export the my the any list as like an XML file to import into my anime list. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. But yeah, uh, I just want to say that because there are like some differences between any list and my anime list. For example, like the scoring system, you can have like decimals on it. Which you can't have in my anime list, and there's also the rewatching one. So something that my anime list does is that uh, for rewatch, for rewatching, it's just gonna make it so that you are. It it just it just puts in the in the watching section, basically, and then the scores, all of them are rounded down. So 9.9, .9, it becomes nine. It doesn't become ten. So yeah. Alright, once this is like finished downloading, just go ahead and install this. And then once you finish, it's gonna open. So now once you're here, you just wanna go ahead and check uh, whichever one you wanna uh, export the anime list or the manga list and then go over here to settings this is where you can pick whichever you want you want to export now if you don't go into settings on your own only the watching and reading will be checked so you're only going to be able to export the, the ones you're watching right now so um, i recommend going in here and checking all of them if you want to go ahead and uh, you know export all of them so just click out put in your your name and press export here this is this shouldn't take too long and um, you'll know when it's done when it pulls up a safe as a window like this okay so it's gonna put pull this up and you just have to put a file name and then press save and then there's gonna be this notification so you can go ahead and donate if you want to and then it's gonna go full and you can close this so now what you have to do is go to my anime list and then just type in import.php and then just import as a my anime list import and put in the file that you just got so it should be where you installed the nekomata application right here and just press import data and it's going to update every single thing that you have on your anime list into your my anime list account and if you're wondering why there's a hand cam on the bottom right because there's literally no point of that it's too high to activate windows watermark that i somehow got even though i have already purchased windows so uh, yeah i <laughs> yeah <laughs> so if we go here as you can see it has updated everything and as i said before and uh, if you see right here on the completed side, uh, there's 9.9 .9 scores here, but um, on my anime list, it actually just gets rounded down instead of rounded up or rounded to the closest whole number. So yeah, it goes to nine. And right here, re zero, I'm rewatching. It goes into watching. And yeah, it reads the episode and stuff. So. It's basically the same it just puts it on uh, watching because there's no like other rewatching section so if for some reason you want to uh, import any list into my anime list this is how 
So yeah, I hope this video helped you. <laughs> it's a very random video and I did this for no reason. It's because I I I, I needed content, okay? Yeah, yeah, I hope I hope this helped. Bye. <laughs>